Hello everyone, on this video I'm going to show you how to customize the Scramble Words minigame for you to add it into any of your project. Here you can see that there is a Scramble Words blank widget blueprint. This is the one that you should pick to add your own words to customize it. And here it's the example that comes with the game so you can try it see how it works and if there is something that you want to add into it or that you want to remove into it so I do recommend that you do it as as long as you have uh, um, experience on real engine and on the blueprints in if you don't then I really don't recommend it because if you change something without actually knowing what you're doing then the project may not work or it's actually it's not going to work anyways I'm going to open now the scramble words bank I already have it here open but I'm just gonna click it here these are the important components of the game I'm not going to show you each one of them because I already did on the overview video I recommend you see that one in case you haven't or you can also see the overview in the manual of this project the links of both the video and the manual can be found in the description of this video and also you can find the link of the manual in the Unreal Engine Marketplace as well so we're going to move to the craft now just want to let you know that I'm going to use the manual to guide me to show you how to customize the game, the product. The manual begins showing you the game startup, which is the event construct. In here, you can see all the events and all the functions that are important for the product to work properly. So you have here the buttons configuration, the array of button letters, which, is, which are the buttons that you have here, and the option buttons click. It's the vent that runs the options, which are the ones that are here. And we have also the array of the text letter, the array of uh, the letter spaces. The letter spaces are the ones that are shown here. These ones are the letter spaces. And what it says here, the text letters means also these ones. These, um, the letters that are here. And you can see at the end that the option buttons skip, next, and clue are disabled when the game starts and they are enabled again when you click the button start we're going to see that in a few minutes all right so you go here on the options button click event and you double click it it will tell you to where the events that run the buttons are you can see the start, the next, the skip, the clue, and the quit. We're going to click on the start, the click button start event. It takes you down here where the start button is configured, it's, it's set up. You can see here. Also, something that I forgot to mention, but it is in the manual that so far nothing in here you need to change it unless you want to add something on your own like maybe add another option or maybe add another you know event that you want to happen when the when the the mini game is beginning otherwise it's not necessary to make any change so far and as I told you, the buttons skip, next, include are enabled here. 
doing the start button okay and if you go here you can see the event word 01 setup this is the first word of the game and we're going to double click so it takes you to this event here it is we see here it's this is the word setup of the words that you want to add in the game so we have here the word setup 01 02 03 4 up to word 08 the product allows you to add eight words of seven letters each the maximum but of course if you want to add more words or if you want to add words that have more than seven letters you can do it as well very easily in a later video I'm going to show you how to do that all right so let's go to the top again to word 01 setup and I'm going to quickly explain what's going on in here as detailed as possible just in case um, there's someone new watching this video the do once not allows the this event the word 01 event to fire only once so when playing you can only solve this word once or if you decide to skip it you're not able to return to the word again this is a a customization a configuration that I decided to add of course if you want to remove it you can easily do it just by you know deleting it and connecting the custom event onto the set node moving on we have this node that sets the word order this um, variable tells the product which word is showing currently to the player the buttons word 01 is where you add the letters of the word this event belongs to and let's double click it so you can see it I told you that this is event actually this is not event this is a function so we have here the place where the letters should be added this part here and also at the end in this part over here for the moment they are all in blank because of course we are going to add the letters later on in here you make the array of the letters which means that you tell the the game in the current word which are the buttons letter that need to be shown here this is what this event does and this event here buttons word 01 click tells the game the mini game what what is the order of each letter that was added here and that is also shown here so for example we're going to take the word here play as an example to uh, let you know a little bit better what I'm trying to explain we're going to take the letters from play P L A and W so we're going to connect P L A and Y the variables that we're going to be connecting on each of these nodes we can find it over here in the variables section under the alphabet category we scroll down and these are the ones that we're going to use which are the integer variables we can see here the color green which represents the integer variable this function tells the game to show only those letters in here and to remove 
the other letters of the alphabet because we don't need those letters. After connecting the variables on this section, we're going to move to the right and also connect them here. Afterwards, we go back to the event graph and we click on this event buttons word 01 clicked and in here we're going to be connecting the letters of the word play in the order they're supposed to be in the word because this type of event tells the game which is the correct order each letter should be clicked so for our example first the letter p should be clicked then l a and so on if the player presses the letter a first without pressing or clicking the letter p and l beforehand then it will throw the wrong answer notification that is shown here okay all right so we're going to go back to word setup and we're going to see this last event. I think this is not an event, I think this is a function. Yeah, this is a function. The word letters space. This tells the amount of letters that word that this event belongs to has. So in our example, it's a four letter word so we're going to change it here from seven to four and that's how we tell the game the product that for this event we have a four letter word in here and this function also tells the game that only four letter spaces which are these ones should be shown and to remove the other three because there's seven spaces for each letter all right we're going to click on buttons word 01 clicked and will take us to the word configuration on the product overview i didn't go through all of this so i'm showing you all of this because it's really important for you to know and in the manual you can also see all of this explanation as well moving on we're going to start with the first word as you can see I already have here the words that I'm going to use to show you how the product works we have here I think the word with the list amount of letters is this one bur we have here a word that has triple letters which is E and we have here a word that has double letter which is T okay so we're going to go with the first one which is stone we have here the first event and we have here as so we can see if we move to this side we can see that this macro is letter 01 setup you can find them in the macro section over here each of these events already has all the macros all the variables and all the events needed for the product to work the only thing that you have to do in here is connect a few variables for example in this case for the buttons word 01 clicked the first letter you only have to connect that letter s we are going to look for it here here it is so we connect it on this get node and we also going to connect it over here in the macros letter 01 setup I'm going to quickly explain what this is doing this macro tells the game or the product that for this event which belongs to the word 01 the first letter to be clicked is stone we can see it here now let's go to the second letter here we're going to connect the letter t
we can see here that the macro connected to this event is letter 02 setup. It's the same as a letter 01 setup, but with just one small difference, which is this text variable. This macro tells the product that this event can only run once the first button has been clicked which in this case will be letter 01, the first letter. All right, let's go to the third one, letter O. Let's connect it here and we connect it here on current letter. Moving on to the fourth, which will be letter N. And the last letter will be E. Let's go here. Here it is. And as you can see over here, the letters are, the variables of the letters are in alphabetical order. So it's really easy for you to find each letter. All right, so in this case, because our word only has five letters, these ones are additional. I'm not going to delete them. The only thing I'm going to do is just to disconnect it and move it aside. This is how I'm going to work. You can delete them if you want to. And in here, in the last letter we need to connect the macro called points gain setup which is the macro that is going to run once all the letters are properly clicked in the correct order um, I'm going to be lazy and I'm going to use this one over here as you can see here, I already have connected the points gain setup from these events that I removed that are additional. And I'm just going to disconnect it and bring it over here. I'm doing that because this one already has the correct configuration. In here you can see because this event is for the word 01 and the next event is obviously word 02 so that's what we are telling the game in this macro that the next letter to show after solving this this one is word 02 so we have it here